is a real force. Drew McIntyre. Revamped attitude. Revamped appearance. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, Drew McIntyre. McIntyre's made it his mission to eliminate all the complacency in WWE. You know, Drew McIntyre arrived and he was the chosen one. Handpicked by WWE Chairman Mr. McMahon. And Drew will admit that he became complacent. Felt like he didn't have to work hard to get to the top. When he got fired, he went away. He got a new attitude. And now he's back bigger and badder than ever with a vengeance. Yeah, this new attitude from Drew McIntyre dictates he will take whatever he wants. McIntyre laser focused. And his opponent from Minnesota weighing in at 250 pounds, Morse. Guys, we have two of WWE's most exciting superstars ready to square off here. And there's nothing quite like seeing two superstars settling it in the ring in one-on-one -on -one action, Michael. This should be an incredible matchup. I mean, both men have extensive offensive repertoires, lasting endurance, and an insatiable appetite to be number one. He shrugs it off and comes back more motivated than ever. Yeah. yeah, but it looks to me like he still has plenty of energy in that body of his. I wouldn't look too much into this right now. Wicked clothesline! Oh, and he connects. There's no reason to lose your footing on a move like that. Come on, toughen up. He's struggling a bit here. I don't think this is how he envisioned this match going here tonight. Oh, man, his chances are dwindling quickly. Things are about to pick up, guys. I love a good plot twist. I don't think I've seen a superstar more driven to succeed than Drew McIntyre. When he was released in 2014, McIntyre said he'd be back, and that's exactly what happened. Oh, McIntyre really took a negative and turned it into a positive. Instead of feeling sorry for himself and blaming everybody else, he traveled the globe and made himself an even bigger star. Following up on what you two were saying about McIntyre's initial release, not only did he return with more fire and fans, he also came back in even better shape than before. Yeah, McIntyre's always had a height advantage, but in his time away, he worked on his strength, conditioning, and added considerable power to his Claymore kick and aftershock DDT. Oof! He's looking at it. Slam. Two count and a kick out. Nice kick out there. If 
you recall, guys, when Drew McIntyre first showed up here in 2009, he was anointed the chosen one. And while it may have been premature back then, I'd say McIntyre is more than living up to it nowadays. Ooh, what impact. Ooh, he goes down hard. Yeah, he's definitely starting to fade now. As Byron alluded to, Drew McIntyre's initial run in WWE had ups and downs, but ever since his return in 2017, I'd say McIntyre's among the most dominant superstars on the roster. As would the people he's defeated since returning. And let's look at some of these names, Cole. Bobby Roode, Andrade Cien Alma, Seth Rollins. Those are some pretty big names, if you ask me. Superstars in action. Who could forget this? This was another great moment. This is how he ended it. Here is your winner, Drew McIntyre. A very impressive victory for Drew McIntyre. You know, it didn't happen often, but I can attest, being pinned is humiliating. What a match that was, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining us.